Curb Profiles is a new tool in Carson 21 that allows you to build separate profiles representing each daylighting portion of a curb section, such as an edge of pavement, gutter, face of curb, and back of curb. This can be drawn and plotted alongside other profiles such as edge of pavement, centerline, ditch, and sewer profiles. For this video, I wanted to start with the design tools including LotNet and RoadNet. Then I'll focus on curb profiles and generating the profiles. All right, I've already imported points, created the surface, uh, processed the boundary and alignments. So let's go to area, lot network settings. Okay, first we need to add a lot network file, so the curb profiles, perfect. Uh, let's see, uh, building placement settings, I have front and back setbacks, that's good. Drawing building pads, uh, everything else is okay. Perfect, let's select the boundary for this. There we go. And now let's go into the road settings. So we'll create a road network file. Let's go ahead and call this one just roads. Keep it simple. Hit open, sure, perfect. All right, now I need to add the alignments. So let's click on that one, Script. there we go. And we're gonna create a centerline file. Let's call this one Winchester, save it, there we go. Let's add some right-of-way offsets. So let's call this one ROW, perfect. All right, let's edit. Uh, let's make them say 30 feet left and right. That's good. Save and exit. There we go. All right, perfect. So we have all that ready. Okay, now let's add uh, the second road. Uh, I'm gonna call it Poroy. And there we go. Perfect save. Notice that the right-of-way offsets are good to go, so don't need to do anything there. My intersection has already been created. Okay, I'm going to add a cul-de-sac. So I'm selecting Poroy. I'm going to do it at the beginning of that alignment. There we go. Uh, the radius, let's do 60. Let's add a fillet of 25. Uh, I think everything else is good. And hit OK. All right, so I'm just good, ready to process. So what this one does now, it will process all the lots with that. I had a default of 0.8 acres, so that's what it's aiming for. And we have all the lot front and back setbacks, and I said draw building pads. So this is thinking about everything right now. It's going to take one more second, and there we go. It's all processed. All right, uh, I'm noticing that there is a little error uh, down in one of the corners, so let me just go ahead and zoom real quick. And what's interesting is uh, this is actually a very quick fix. So let me grab that and let's do a grip edit. I'll snap it to the end of the boundary here. It's good enough. Now I'm going to extend the other LUT net uh, or LUT side if you wish. So there we go. Now I need to worry about the annotation and all that because we have a little tool called Update Labels. And if I do that, the software automatically retraces everything. It's going to redo the setbacks and relabel everything. Perfect. Now let's go to roads, road network. Okay, so we already have the roads file. We have Winchester and Poroy, perfect. Now I need to do some of the settings. Uh, first of all, we have an existing surface and I called it existing tin. Now for my output, I want to create a 3D model. So let me go here, right triangulation file. And this is for the road, I'm gonna call it final. Let's click save, there we go. And contours. I'm just going to keep some of the defaults that I have in here. That's good. Let's hit OK. All right, I want to merge them, so I need to create a merge tin. Perfect. Now you see I have surface to draw, merge surface. Now under output edge of payment profiles, I need to generate some. So I have this by default set for the Winchester, so let's do Polaroid. I'm going to do the same thing, edge of payment left and edge of payment right. And remember, we're going to use those profiles for curve profiles later, right? I'm elevating pads, so let me click on setup. Let's look at the configuration here. I'm good with pads and offsets, so that's good to go. Perfect. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit OK. Good with those settings. All right, now I need to add some additional information for my roads. As you notice, I don't have any profiles for, or design profile for the roads. So I'm gonna create one, it's called Winchester, perfect. Now the software will draw a straight line from beginning to end. So I need to add some vertical curve information. So I'm gonna do it graphically. 
Let's just add one here. Let's say a vertical color curve of 300 feet. That's good. Let's pick another point and we'll add another vertical curve here. Let's do another 300 feet. That's fine. And if you needed to add it, I can click on that and dynamically adjust the curves. And this is good enough. So let's go ahead and save the PRO and exit. Okay, now I need to add a template. I already had a road template, so I want to explain how to do that. So there we go, hit OK. I um, don't need to process, I need to do the same thing for Poroi. All right, let me uh, just go in here, we'll create this one, we'll call it Poroi. And if you don't mind, I'll just fast forward. It's the same clicks uh, as you will notice, I'll just add a design profile. All right, now for the cul de sac, let's go in here. And what I need to do is add a radius, so I can add. I think I used 60 before, so let's go for that, and 25 on this one, perfect, and let's go ahead and hit OK. OK, perfect. So we're good to process, and this basically will generate the 3D model automatically. So there you see it's processing everything, clean up the intersection, place my contour lines, and it's building the road tin and the merge tin. Fantastic. So let's go to save the road network, and I can close this box now. All right, let's take a quick peek at what we generated in 3D. So I'll go 3D Drawing Viewer. Just select some entities here. And this is just the CAD side, right? So there you can see my contour lines, my road, and importantly, the building pads. So all those building pads have been elevated. So if I were to do some grading for the lots, I can do that in, in just a second. All right, okay. Now from a surface, let's take a look at Surface File Viewer. Let's look at the merge tin. And again, just to show you uh, kind of how the road was created just now. And I clean up the intersection. You can see it there. And I have the cul-de-sac and everything. All right. Let me label now the station offset for those driveways. That's information that I can use for the curve profiles tool. All right. Uh, we'll start by selecting the centerline file. And that's Winchester. There we go. Label alignment, I'm going to keep horizontal. Leader segments, let's stay with one. I'm going to use relative leader. Everything else looks okay, so there we go. All right, so now I can move my cursor and snap to the endpoint of the driveway. Relative means that I can choose the position of the leader. You know, once I do the first one, everything else is going to be relative. There we go. Let's pick on that one. In the upper left, you'll notice there's a little preview, so you get to see information right away okay good enough for what we need uh for now so my starting station is 192.34 perfect all right let's go to the profiles menu design road profile create curb profiles step number one select your profile i will use the edge of payment left for my winchester road okay we have a preview under settings, we tell the software which ones to generate. There's an automatic one, which is the generic, uh, which is basically removing the vertical curves. Then you get to choose which others you want to do. For instance, I'll do the gutter, and let me change the color so we can see it better in the preview. So let's use red for that. Let's say I want to do face of curb. I'm gonna call it TOC, and let's make that yellow. There we go, and I'm not gonna do the back of curves, so there we go, perfect. Now, what type of curve do we need to apply? There is a library. Now, we have some predefined, and you see them there. Let me just click so you can see the, the preview. But you can create your own, right? So go in here, there's multiple parameters, and you can generate your own uh, gutter. All right, I'm gonna start uh, my gutters at station zero. And let me apply a 12 inch gutter with a six inch curb. You notice how it automatically created all the profiles now. Now my first driveway was at station 192.34. Now there, what I want to do is apply a drive over, right? So let me switch that over to the other profile. And I don't want to transition. So notice in the preview how it caught it out. Now this one ends at 205.34, about 13 feet. Now I go back to my six inch curb, and again, I'm not transitioning, so you can see the cutout, right? Now what if I wanted to do a transition? Let me add another value here. 
So let's say we're transitioning in, let's say two feet, so 190.34. The software will update and make sure everything's in ascending order. All right, so I need to apply the previous one. So six inch curb, you know, 12 inch gutter. Then I need to say transition. Now let me add the other stations. So 207, 34. There we go. So we're going to switch that over. Perfect. And here, let's do the six inch. And there we are. Now let me make sure that we have transitions. So let's put a check, a check mark there. There we go. Now you can see the nice smooth transition on the curb. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now that we have the profiles, we can go into Profiles and draw a profile. Okay, let's start with the road network file that we had. So roads are the end. There we go. Now we're going to add multiple profiles here. So let me pick my design center line. Let me pick my edge of payment and my top of the curb. Now you can select more, of course. That looks good. Let's hit OK. All right. Now we have some default settings. So what I can do is just load those. I call them my Louise Kerr profiles. Let me go into road profile labels. Now in my defaults, I might have site distance. You can always add or remove what you need from a labeling standpoint. So let's remove uh, site distance. So let's hit OK. This is just to show you. Now I want to make sure that you have draw stack labels, right? We're going to do it with the bottom profile, so that top of curve. You click on Setup here. All right. Now, we've already loaded some defaults. So I have the station done, elevation for my edge of payment, and top of curve. But again, you can always add or remove. Double click on one of the labels, and you can change the settings. I've added uh, edge of payment. I'm going to do M text, make it vertical. OK, perfect. Lastly, let's check the layers. And I have P, Profile 1, CL, EOP, TOC. That sounds good. Let's hit OK. Good. Now let's hit OK and let's have the software draw it. Uh, station 100 to 450. That sounds good. I don't need everything right now. OK, excellent. Let me go ahead and zoom closer. Something like that. And there we go. So there's my curb cutout and I have all my breakpoint annotations. Now, if you think that some of those are too many, that's fine. You can always, this is just annotation. You can delete it. Uh, just to illustrate, let me just bring some of those down. I know that's not perfect, but uh, give you an idea. There's a bunch of labels in there. And, you know, I have my annotation, the station, TOC, edge of payment. There's also elevation difference if you want it. Now, double click the grid, and what I want to do now is create a plan profile sheet. Uh, in case you don't know, just back draw profile, turn on draw sheet paper space. I uh, have some settings, so I'm good with those settings. So I'll just say go ahead and erase this one from here. And again, I need 100 to 450. I don't need to do the entire road. Let's hit OK. I need to pick up my centerline file. OK, perfect, and we're done. Recapping, I use the new Curve Profiles tool to generate the edge of payment, gutter line, top of curve, back curve profiles based on the design, our road design. Then I use the Draw Profiles to generate my profiles and plan a profile sheets. Now, just to illustrate design tools, I start with Lot Network to generate my basic subdivision layout and then use Road Network to generate the 3D model. For more details on how to use Lot Network or Road Network, you can always go to the Carlson Academy or Carlson's YouTube channel. All right, thank you for watching.